Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup inventory update. It has been a couple of months since my last update, which I did at the end of December. Um, I will have that video linked for you if you want, but I'm gonna be recapping anyway. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Vivian. I'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related, and I love trying new makeup, but I never wanna feel overwhelmed with my collection. I never want to feel like things are going to waste. So I do these types of videos just to keep myself in line, keep myself in check. Um, definitely don't want to be over consuming. And one of my like big things is that I don't want to outgrow the system that I already have in place to store all of my makeup. And I am starting to do that so not ideal a little spoiler i have increased the number of items i have in my collection part of this is going to be because i wasn't tracking a specific section but i decided that i am going to track that from now on but we will get into all of that i hope you guys are having a great day today it is snowing in michigan which sucks because i literally just did a video saying how excited I was for spring. I was like, it was sunny, I was in such a spring mood, and now it is quite literally snowing. Not ideal, but I do live in Michigan. I kind of expect it at this point. With all that being said, let's just hop into it. So I try to do these updates quarterly. I started tracking this at the beginning of last year and then have been tracking it throughout the last year. I have like categorized all of my products into primers, foundations, concealers, powders, bronzers, highlighters, blush, face palettes, eyeshadow palettes, lip liners, lip glosses and balms, lipsticks, eyeliners, mascaras, single shadows, brow products, setting sprays, color correctors, and miscellaneous. The miscellaneous is literally just my freck noir when I want fake freckles, um, but I figured I should kind of track that anyway. I am not going to go through every year's like individually, but for 2023, let's just do a little recap of the total number of products I had. In January of 2023, I had 222 products. In April, I had 233. In July, I had a total of 247. And then in December, I went back down to 228. So a general decrease throughout the year. As of March, I have a total of 244 products, mainly because I started tracking the number of setting sprays and that number is kind of large, which is why I wanted to start tracking them. But let's go through these categories individually. If I'm looking down, I'm sorry, I just have the spreadsheet on my phone so that I can uh, read out all these numbers to you. So in December of 2023, I had eight primers. In March of 2024, I also have eight primers. Part of this is me finishing up the Danessa Myricks little sample size of the Yummy Skin primer that I had. And I also added one primer, and that primer is the Lumi Glotion. I have this in a deeper shade, and this shade I have been using to mix in with my moisturizer to give myself just a little bit more of a bronzy glow. That is what I have pretty consistent. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm glad that that is staying steady. For foundations, in December I had 11 and currently in March of 2024 I have 12. So an increase of one. The ones that I can fully remember right now that have shifted are I decluttered my Fenty Ease Drops. I also decluttered something else that I gave to my mom that I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but I did add some, so I know that I added the About Face foundation that I have been loving. And I also added the Chanel Le Beige Touche de Tente foundation and the CoverGirl dupe. So th those are two viral products, I would say. They have always like piqued my interest, and so I did purchase those. And then the About Face one is just a really good foundation. I have been really liking it. So overall, a general increase. I am still working on my Merit the Minimalist stick that's in my project pan. I've been working on that for, I want to say like a full year now, something kind of insane. But I am slowly working my way through that. I think I still have several more months to go with that product. Hopefully in the next couple of months, I will be able to 
decrease that number once again and bring it back down to 11 once I finish up that Merit the Minimalist stick. The next category is concealers. I went from 8 concealers at the end of December and now I am at 9. The one concealer that I have brought into my collection is the Catrice True Skin Concealer that was gifted to me and I have a video like an Instagram reel TikTok going up about that soon just like testing it out um, it was gifted in exchange for that video so that is the only addition everything else has remained pretty steady I know that I have decluttered a couple of concealers as well but I don't think those were necessarily tracked because they were like gifted and I pretty much immediately decluttered them from my collection. So concealers, again, not a huge difference. I think that that is still manageable. I'm working my way through them. I consistently rotate through my concealers. I try to rotate through them every month when I do another shot my stash. So again, kind of a lot probably more than I necessarily need, but I am working my way through them. I am making sure that all of them get used. In general, I don't think that is too many concealers, and I'm just glad that it's not like an excessive jump from the last couple months. The next category I have is powders. So powders was something that I just really got into last year. For some reason, powders, loose powders specifically, were just my like impulse buys. I wanted to try so many different loose powders and so in December of last year I ended up with 12 powders and currently I'm at 10. One of these is me giving a pressed powder to my mom. She said that she needed a pressed powder. I have a lot in my collection and it just made sense for me to give her a powder that I was not using. But yeah, so I know one of them is from that. I am currently working on my Rare Beauty setting powder in my project pan as well. That has been going so, so slowly. I don't know what it is about that powder. It just takes absolutely forever. I don't even like the powder, so it's starting to feel like kind of a chore to use it and to try and finish it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with that at this point. I'm kind of considering pulling it out of my project pan. I don't want to have to feel like I'm actively like forcing myself to use a product up. I would rather put in a powder that I genuinely like and genuine, genuinely would like use all the time. So I think I might switch it up. I'm not sure yet, but I am working on my Rare Beauty powder. I have been trying so hard to get more use out of that and um, I feel like the progress has been quite minimal even though I use it every time I do my makeup. The next category we have here are bronzers. At the end of December I had 17 and now I am at 19. One of them is the Fenty contour matchsticks that I picked up during the Ulta sale because it was 50% off. I think I have the shade amber of that and then the other bronzer that I added to my collection is the Catrice sculpt and highlight thing that they also gifted to me. I do like both of them. I think the Fenty matchsticks and amber is like a little bit too light for my skin tone but it is a really nice cool tone and the Catrice one is nice and blends out really easily too. Still 19 bronzers feels like a lot for one face. I have been trying to not buy new bronzers lately so there's still room for improvement there i'm still working on my novel skin bronzing powder that i have in my project pan my goal on that is to hit pan and i seriously for a while there thought i was gonna hit pan really really soon and i just have not so i'm working on that hopefully i'll hit pan on that soon and i can start working on another bronzer to work my way through. The next category I have here are highlighters. In December I had 10 highlighters and now I am at 8. So if you watched my little mini declutter I did at the beginning of spring like a couple of weeks ago, I just realized that there are a lot of highlighters and face glazing type of products that seemed a little bit excessive in my collection. From decluttering that I have decreased this number quite a bit 
I think eight is a good amount. I have a good variety of different formulas, shades, things like that, which I feel is beneficial. Like I want to make sure that I have a couple of different formulas that I like, but I obviously don't wear highlighter that often. I think eight is a good number. I'm happy with that number. And we will see how, uh, how that continues to progress throughout the year. The next category I have here is blush. Blush is one of my biggest categories. The other one are lip balms and glosses because I have those like combined into one but I love a good blush. I'm a heavy blush gal. I cycle through my blushes pretty regularly and I pretty much always have a blush in my project pan to try and use up. So in December I had 36 blushes and I am currently at 37. The one blush that I know I added is the Milk Jelly blush and I know that I picked up the, I forgot the brand, but it was a KBB blush as well, a liquid blush. So still some additions, one declutter, which is the Cover FX monochromatic blush duo in the warm honey shade. Not as bad as it could have been, to be honest. I am a blushaholic for sure. I am always, always wanting to buy another blush. And I feel like even though I have increase this category a little bit. I haven't gone exponentially off the rails like I have before. So I'm I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Definitely 37 blushes is still quite a lot. Don't get me wrong. For face palettes, in December I had two and now I still have two. Face palettes is never a category that I really worry about. I don't use face palettes that often and so I try not to purchase more. So two face palettes, not much else to say there. As far as eyeshadow palettes go, in December I had 17 eyeshadow palettes and now I am at 15. I have just learned myself, I have learned that I am not a huge eyeshadow person. Usually I'll do very simple looks, I don't need a ton of eyeshadow palettes. I don't think I've purchased an eyeshadow palette in quite a while besides the Unleashia like olive glitter eyeshadow palette. I kind of have my eye on the new cool, like neutral cool tone makeup by Mario palette, but honestly, I don't need it. I have so many and I think I can get a lot of similar looks from the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. So probably not gonna pick up the makeup by Mario one, even though I really want to. I've been debating it. If I do, it will be during the Sephora sale, but as of right now, I'm good with the number of eyeshadow palettes I have. I don't think I'll see a huge increase in this in the next year either. For lip liners, in December I had 11 and I am currently at 12. So this one is not super shocking to me. I know that I'm working on my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in my project pan right now. That is almost done. I think in the next like month or so that'll fully be done and out of my collection. But I did get gifted a lip liner from, from Hourglass, I believe, that I have been using and liking. And because of that, like it, the number just increased. But hopefully by the next update in probably June, this number will go back to being what it was before and uh, yeah, and hopefully decreasing a little bit more when I work through more lip liners. Before, when I was talking about blushes, I said my next biggest category were lip gloss and balms. That is still correct. In December, I had 35 lip glosses and balms and currently I'm at 36. So I haven't use up any glosses or balms and I only added one and the one that I added is the Tower 28 Lip Softy in the Ube Vanilla variation. I find that this is very similar to the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Brown Sugar in terms of color but I will say the Tower 28 formula is just a little bit thinner so if you don't love the Summer Friday lip balms because they're a little bit too thick the lip softies are really nice. I do still feel like they hydrate my lips, which is hard to do because my lips are so perpetually dry. So I do really like these lip balms if you like a thinner formula. I just prefer a thicker feeling on my lips. So I still prefer the Summer Fridays, but they're both great. And these are almost identical on the lips, honestly. But I do have both. I do enjoy both. And hopefully, I know I keep saying this, but I have been working on the Summer Friday 
summer Friday slip on for so long and I'm almost done with it and I'm trying very very hard to like fully finish it up but there is still just a little bit a little bit left this lip balm has gone through the ringer this has been like my everyday purse lip balm for so long i know that i have accidentally washed and dried this formula and it still performs well so i am very excited to see this decrease soon this number decrease soon once i use up some of those for lipsticks at the end of december i had 13 and i am still at 13. i know that i decluttered one and i added one regarding the Roman Juicy Last- not the Juicy Lasting Tint. Um, I showed it in a recent video, but I love that. It's very comfortable. It's very similar to these, like, Glossier Ultra Lips in terms of just formula. Um, the colors I have are different, but they're very comfortable. They're nice and glossy. They look really nice, and they have a decent amount of pigment to them. So I really like that. I think the number of products that I have in this category is pretty good. I don't wear lipsticks that often and I don't really see a need to buy new lipsticks. Again, I have kind of had my eye on the Merit lipsticks, like the matte versions, but I don't think I'll pick them up just because I, I, just, I just don't wear them that often. One that I did just recently finish up though is the Clinique Almost Lipstick in the shade Black Honey. I fully use that up that is currently in my empties bin so I'm very happy about that I'm happy that I'm making some progress through these hopefully I'll make some more progress in the next couple of uh iterations here the next category I have are eyeliners in December I had 12 and I'm currently at 13 and for the most part my eyeliners have stayed pretty steady the only thing that I have really added lately is this one from Half Magic. This is the Magic Flick Liquid Liner. I just picked this up also during the Ulta sale because it looked really interesting. It has this like really thin but flat like felt tip liner. Uh, today was my first day using it so I am not sure how I feel about it yet. I think there's a little bit of a learning curve with this for sure. I'm excited to keep using it though. It is really really black but the felt tip just isn't my preferred like method so I'm gonna play around with that some more I don't think the number of eyeliners is too crazy though I think 13 is still a decent amount I have some colorful liners mostly neutral liners that I use so yeah 13 not not too bad I'm not too concerned about that number the next category I have here are mascaras at the end of December I had four and I'm currently at seven this seems like a big jump, I know, but I did pick up some new ones from Ramond, and then I know that I have one from e.l.f. The one that I have from e.l.f. is supposed to be like a Thrive Cosmetics dupe. I don't love it as much as my Thrive Cosmetics mascara, but I still have it in my collection. I am still going to try and use it. I still have my lash primer that I've been using, and then just... A couple of other like mascaras that are starting to get old but I just haven't thrown them out yet so those will need to be done soon but overall mascaras have never really been a category I've been too overly concerned with because I do try to rotate through them and throw them out relatively often so I think even though I have a lot open right now most of those are like starting to get old so I will probably end up tossing them and picking up more. The next category I have here are single eyeshadows. In December I had 16 single eyeshadows and now I am at 19. Again, not the worst I've ever done. Um, I feel like 19 is still a lot but when I am wearing eyeshadow or anything on my eyelids it's usually just like a glitter topper and I, I love me a good glitter topper or like a really fun glittery inner like bright inner corner eye moment so still a lot I don't necessarily think this is like too much though I still think that it is a reasonable amount even though I don't wear eyeshadow that that often for brow products in December I had 10 and now I'm at 12 I'm honestly not sure where this increase came from because I don't remember picking up any new eyebrow products in the past 
couple of months. Yeah, I feel like I've just been using brow products a little bit less because I did get my eyebrows tattooed. The tattoo has been starting to fade, so I have been filling in my eyebrows a little bit more. I think that because the tattoos are fading, I am going to start using some brow products to fill in my brows. A little bit more than I did before. 12 is still isn't a huge number. I still think I'm pretty happy with 12, especially if I am going to start using them more often. So this next category is setting sprays. In the past year, I was not tracking the number of setting sprays in my collection, and because of the amount that I have right now, I felt like I probably should. So I currently have six setting sprays, but I honestly have no idea how many I had in the last year. I want to say that like four of them have been consistent, but I don't remember when I got the other two. So six setting sprays, that is an increase of six because I wasn't tracking them before. So the number seems a little bit higher because of that, but in my head that still doesn't seem like too bad. I usually just reach for a setting spray when I feel like I need it if I know that I'm going to be out and about all day. Usually I work from home so I haven't really been using setting spray when I work from home unless I feel like my makeup feels really powdery but this past week I have been in the office literally every single day so I have been wearing setting spray and I've been trying to use up some of those. I think I might try to start using them more often just in general because I do feel like they help with longevity but in general I don't I haven't really worn setting sprays that often and so I never really thought to like track them but now I am these last two categories are categories that I almost never see changing and those are color correctors and miscellaneous like I said is the freck noir freckle pen that I have um, as far as color correctors in December I had five I still have five. I don't use color correctors that often. I will really only reach for them if there is... I'm really trying to make something work for me, but for the most part, most of my foundations match me now, so I don't feel the need for all of those color correctors. Maybe, maybe I declutter some? I don't know. So yeah, I do have those five color correctors. I don't foresee myself increasing ever. Um, maybe decreasing a little bit, but we'll see. I know that I don't have a problem with buying color correctors, so I don't really need to... I don't really feel the need to like try and prevent myself from having them, if that makes sense. So those are all the things, all the makeup things that I have in my collection. Like I said, at the end of December, I had 228 products in my collection, and now I have 244. So kind of a big increase like I said but like six of them were because I wasn't tracking them at all. I still think I probably didn't need to increase this much. I think that's kind of a lot for like a three month span. I am hoping that I can finish up some of these products soon especially like the lip liner that's in my project pan that I'm almost done with, the Merit the Minimalistic that I'm almost done with, the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm that I'm almost done with. I really hope that I can make more progress on those and get those out of my collection and just bring this number down a little bit. An overall increase, I don't think it's like out of control though. I still feel like overall I am purchasing less, being more mindful of things that I do purchase, trying not to purchase things that are like new and shiny and bright all the time because there are so many makeup releases. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a great day and if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!